Hi. My name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Pierre de Fermat. Pierre de Fermat, between 31 October and December 6, 1607 to January 12, 1665, was a French lawyer at the Parliament of Toulouse, France, and a mathematician who was given credit for early developments that led to infinitesimal calculus, including his technique of ad equality. In particular, he is recognized for his research into number theory, and for his discovery of an original method of finding the greatest and the smallest ordinates of curved lines, which is analogous to that of differential calculus, which was unknown at the time. He made notable contributions to analytic geometry, probability, and optics. He is best known for his Fermat's principle for light propagation, and his Fermat's last theorem in number theory, which he described in a note in the margin of a copy of Diophantus Arithmetica. Fermat's pioneering work in analytic geometry, Methodus ad disquirum de maximum et minimum et de tangentibus linearum curvarum, was circulated in manuscript form in 1636, based on results achieved in 1629, predating the publication of Descartes' famous law geometry in Methodus ad disquirum de maximum et minimum and in de tangentibus linearum curvarum. Fermat developed a method, ad equality, for determining maxima, minima and tangents to various curves. In these works, Fermat obtained a technique for finding the centers of gravity of various plane and solid figures, which led to his further work in quadrature. Fermat was the first person known to have evaluated the integral of general power functions. With his method, he was able to reduce this evaluation to the sum of geometric series. The resulting formula was helpful to Newton, and then Leibniz, when they independently developed the fundamental theorem of calculus. In number theory, Fermat studied Pell's equation, perfect numbers, amicable numbers, and what would later become known as Fermat numbers. It was while researching perfect numbers that he discovered Fermat's little theorem. He invented a factorization method, Fermat's factorization method, as well as the proof technique of infinite descent, which he used to prove Fermat's right triangle theorem, which includes as a corollary Fermat's last theorem for the case n equals 4. Fermat developed the two-square theorem, and the polygonal number theorem, which states that each number is a sum of three triangular numbers, four square numbers, five pentagonal numbers, and so on. Pierre de Fermat died on January 12, 1665 at Castra, in the present-day department of Tarn. The oldest and most prestigious high school in Toulouse is named after him, the Lycée Pierre de Fermat. French sculptor Théophile Barrel made a marble statue named Hommage à Pierre Fermat as a tribute to Fermat, now at the copy told the Toulouse. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Pierre de Fermat. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivents.